Okay guys, I'm gonna try to do this without hurting myself. Uh, this is a raw casting. Uh, you saw it on the tree on my, on my uh, page on Facebook. So uh, when they're treated like this, they have to be cut off. And then the sprue has to be cut off. So uh, this is how that's done, or the way I do it. So I'll see if I can keep from killing myself here. Cutting off a finger. Okay, and that's basically a huge cutoff disc. Pull it a bit. Now, this is called a gray wheel. We use this in, ju in uh, jewelry for fine polishing. You can see. Now let's see if we can see. See how rough that is from the rough cut. Just a little bit of cleanup to get rid of those deep scratches. And you can see, kind of put that away from there. A little bit more. Okay, and that's good. So that's that part of it. And it didn't cut my finger off. Like okay, it. now our next part of finishing, pre finishing is it's kind of hard to tell but when you have wax uh, hot wax injection molding uh, get a little bit of shrinkage and so what needs to be done uh, next is to kind of get these flat so this is just a rough flattening uh, for the reeds the reed facing there so uh, I just do that lightly till I get it Smooth surface. All the way around for the seating. And again, this is just pre finishing. Okay. And that's good for that one. On these guys, uh, it's this back section that I do, so it's flat. So this is, like I said, just a rough, a rough flat, and I'm gonna do a fine flattening later. And again, you just want to make sure. I know it's really hard to tell, but and it gets hot. Really close now. Just a bit more. And that's good. Uh, let's see. And that's basically for those guys. So that's kind of what that looks like. Right there. Can hear. Okay guys, our next step here is um, our, our screw holes. Now they're cast in with threads, but again with uh, aluminum or, or any metal really, you get some kind of shrinkage. And so these holes are going to be a little bit off, the threads and everything else. So they have to be uh, cleaned up. Uh, I don't use a tap because you can actually uh, break off a tap in aluminum, you know, with this stuff. And so, uh, and that basically ruins a piece. You just can't redo it. So what I do is I just take a 440 uh, hardened bolt and I just, uh, or Allen head actually, and taper down just like a, just like a tap so it's not as brittle and thread it down. Just uh, can't see it here, but... Just a quick squirt. Uh, 
liquid wrench and you can see where they have the taper there and then I just pop it in right through I don't know if you can see that sideways there but run that through and I can do a couple See, it's really close. It's really close, but uh, and these are ready to go. Um, one other thing on on these guys is well, I'll have to uh, change burrs here, so I'll do that in a second. Okay, now I've got my burr changed, my handpiece here. Uh, one other thing on these guys is that. I have to flatten the back and so this separator gets all squared off here so on each one of these guys I basically see that? I basically have to uh, re-chamfer every one of these guys See that camera. And then of course you don't want any sharp edges in the flow area, so I'll just do a Quick the chamfer there and here. So every one of these gets that. Um, just there's so many processes here for when you're doing castings like this. Um, everything I do is all hand finished, and so. It, they just take a lot of time and so as you can see here now I don't sharpen this as, as a sharp edge because that's not really good for they call it subsonic airflow uh, because if this was sharp what would happen is the air hitting it would be pushed out in a V it'd be pushed out like this in between the separator now that's going to cause turbulence uh, inside here because the air is trying to move out to the outside like that with a rounded center the air comes around and pretty much stays right up against the divider here so instead of being pushed out like that causing turbulence it comes around and pretty much you know sticks to the center here so it's not causing you know flow going this way same way with the sep the uh, transfer dividers there uh, you want you want the edge of those round so you're not causing the airflow to be forced out at an angle like this you want it to kind of hug the separator so and uh, but a little trivia thing for the day but uh, that's the next step on these guys I've got a bunch to do but um, so that's another step in these uh, prepping these castings for uh, building kits okay guys are uh, now to our next step um, we've got all the holes holes rethreaded we've got the these back sections rounded and so our next step is burnishing so as you can see these are all pretty dull that's just from casting so next we've got our tumbler full of steel shot you can kind of see it's all different shapes to get in all the nooks and crannies so this is pretty simple step oops a little bit harder to do with one hand, but all these pieces go in, and so there's all the pieces, and then let's see, hold on, 
Okay, all our pieces, and then a couple of capfuls of my specials jeweler's uh, burnishing compound. So we've got all those pieces in, and it's set up for uh, tumbling now. And now everything's in the tumbler with a for burnishing. And so it really doesn't matter how long you leave it in there. I like to leave it in there for at least a couple hours. So. Um, that's basically pretty simple. It's just a regular tumbler with the stainless steel uh, very <clears throat> shaped shot in there. I think I have like a pound or pound and a half in there kind of deal. So, so this stuff will furnish for a few hours and I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. Okay, I'm back. Uh, the parts have tumbled for well a few hours. So uh, now we'll open up our tumbler. And pieces out Just a quick rinse, really. Not a big deal. And now you can see the parts. They're all burnished. Now I could actually tumble them some more. I had so many parts in there, but uh, and they'd be a little bit shinier. But that's not a big deal, really. But uh, oops, it's, it's stuck in there. Come out. Okay, there we go. That's uh, okay. Everything's all tumbled now, burnished. So you can see where everything's nice and nice and shiny now. So these guys are all ready for our next step. So uh, that's what it looks like out of the burnishing. So they get all nice and burnished and uh, shiny looking. So that's the end of that step.